If you're a hooper, you should probably be working on your post-ups here and there. Now, I'm not saying that you or every player should be posting up in-game, though. Trust me. I do believe there can be opportunities for guards to post up a little bit more, but that's besides the point. I know not everyone is going to have this in their role. In fact, most people won't. Again, I don't expect you guys to know, like, the Hakeem Olajuwon post moves because most of us are guards, realistically. Like, it's just not the case. Be creative. Try new things, but I'm not expecting you to do the dream shake and a bunch of stuff. Just try to score creatively. So I have these hoopers from our Toronto camp recently working on post-ups simply for the qualities that it trains. Think of it like a drill, and a drill that works on a ton of good stuff that will circle back to you no matter your play style. Let's check out how and why. I'll spin it to myself here, all right? I have to make something work with no dribbles, all right? So I can kind of duck into him, I can shoot a little fader, I can try to pivot and get an angle to that basket, but I have no dribbles to make it work. So what's really isolated here? Footwork, for sure, right? You're gonna have to find a way to maybe fake him out, step through, whatever. So first off, we'll start with the most obvious one. Footwork. You're just getting a ton of reps pivoting, rotating with it, switching up that timing, making sure it's legal, learning how to step through, all of that. Because footwork around the rim is truly an art. It's something that requires a lot of coordination, knowing how much force to produce, how to move and time up your upper body with that step, how to actually use these steps to sell and gain ground on your defender. So clearly isolating this and doing a drill like this where you don't have any dribbles, you get a ton of reps here and you can make big strides. So this way, when you get down in that area on a drive and you come to maybe a two foot stop, you feel comfortable working out of this stop. And if you want to play at the college level, professional FIBA level, literally wherever, even in a pickup game, coming to these two foot stops and being able to work out of these is key. Number two are the shots that it trains. Another one is potentially just shooting slightly tougher shots. Contested, right? So maybe I'll have to turn around here and shoot a little bit of a contested shot, but it's still manageable because I'm close to the rim. Watch most of these shots they're shooting here. They're rotating, they got to adjust the release point and the timing a bit. Obviously, most times they're contested because it's close quarters. So these are qualities that if we can get comfortable with all of these, we'll be better off as a shooter. Not only from around that rim area on shorter shots, but mid-ranges too. So shots like this, where maybe it's not out of a post up, but you're driving in, you're moving laterally, you gotta rotate on that shot. It's not perfect footwork. You gotta shoot with a higher release because you're closer and you have a stronger contest on you. We're constantly shooting shots like this in the mid range area. So this is a good way to train these in a somewhat low impact way. Not to mention, I'm also a really big fan of these short jumpers. I think they're very manageable, comfortable shots that you can get into around this area. So training these in a post up setting can be pretty beneficial, even if they're a little bit tough. Now on the same note, it also trains your ability to make tough contested finishes too. Finishing through contact, right? It's gonna be closer quarters you can't separate you're in close quarters and it's tough for you to really create separation even when we do have multiple dribbles so you'll usually only have two choices here to go off of two feet with contact a skill that's very very under trained by so many hoopers or to be unpredictable here and throw off that defender's timing and you can also look at this from a touch perspective you're getting really good reps finishing with touch around the rim using the backboard finding angles on the backboard and doing it with defense while you're rotating while a bunch of stuff is going on so if you're looking to work on your touch around the rim this is probably a pretty good option Next is physicality, just learning how to use your body to initiate contact, to absorb contact when they create it, and just developing the mindset of being physical and being assertive, but doing it without fouling and getting out of control. Again, we're getting a ton of reps here. So when it comes back into game time and you're down around that rim area or even taking somebody off the dribble, you're gonna feel more comfortable using your own body and using your own positioning to gain space and get an advantage for yourself. And then lastly here is just understanding angles. A lot of the time when you're in this kind of post up or even a face up situation so close to the rim, you can't go right by somebody's hip and take that straight line. You're gonna end up under the basket. And while of course we all have to be able to do this when we're on the perimeter and we're blown by people, it's also good to be able to learn how to take a lateral angle. Maybe we get down to the paint area at some point we got to be able to learn how to use these lateral angles to find open space and find a good place to shoot that shot from. So again, hopefully you can see that a lot of these type of shots and these type of plays, and more importantly, these qualities that we're seeing in these clips can be trained just by playing out of the post sometimes. And the reason why I like it so much here is because again, it's low impact. You're not driving in at full speed every time. You're not jumping as high as you can every time. It's because you can't get that momentum to do so. You're starting close to the basket. So you could literally play post up one-on-one -on -one for hours. I'm not saying to do it, but you probably could without really feeling that tired, because although there is contact and it is tough, it's a little bit more low impact. So think of this as your way to get a lot of reps with these qualities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna be a part of these type of camps where we're gonna do a ton of creative stuff, make sure to check out if I'm coming to a city near you soon. As always, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure to stay tuned to everything and I'll do the same.